Welcome to the news at noon for this Friday, June 8th, 2016. For those of you first time watching, I'm Tom Judson. I serve all our international business for Park Lane, and I get to share with you in just a few minutes all that is great and going on with Park Lane, like our new incentive trip. Everything you're doing now, this started a week ago, is going to count for our new incentive trip. And at convention, on Saturday, the 23rd of July, you're going to hear where you can go. You can, everybody can earn it. It's not just the top people in Park Lane, and that's exciting. Our convention is where that will be announced. It's where we always release our incentive trips. And the convention agenda has a VIP party for our qualifiers. You'll, talk, you'll hear me talk about that in a minute. The new jewelry is launched Friday morning, so about noon central time. You'll start seeing the Facebook posts. We have a show demo on stage that's just not to be missed. Our new trip launch is on Saturday, so Saturday around noon, you'll hear where we're going on our next trip, and then we have the special VIP luncheon for our qualifiers. Those of you who are going to convention and would like to pre-order supplies, you can do it simply by going to parklanejewelry.com forward slash pre-order, and there you'll see three things you can order and pick up, catalogs, the new Say Yes gift, and the new customer special that's being introduced. Yes! Now, this is for those of you attending convention, and is for pickup only at convention. But you can get these three new things, which is very exciting. Exception to that is Australians. We are no catalogs. We won't have Australian catalogs because we're printing them in Australia. You're that awesome and amazing. Isn't that cool? $10,000 cash giveaway. This is for everyone who has a $1,000 or greater show. If you've had a hostess go over 1000 in your currency, you are entered in a drawing to win 10 $1,000 drawings. Now, we're in the month of July, and July for all of our countries is four weeks. We count the commission days. Europe, your Mondays. South Pacific, your Tuesdays. Canada, Northern Hemisphere, your Thursdays. Count your Thursdays, and you know how many weeks in the commission month. We've completed week one in every market. We're coming into week two, which is the end of our VIP contest and convention recognition. Because many of you I'm going to see in Chicago. Those of you not, I truly will miss um, seeing you, but we hope you come to our next one. Our next one is Vegas in February. Brand new line released on Friday. You're going to see that. It goes live on the 22nd on the web. Those VIP ex, uh, qualifiers at level three, go to the gifting suite, and that's just going to be incredible. If your team has achieved its attendance goal for convention, you all will get the amazing signature bracelet. This is for those franchises making their attendance goal and for paid registrations. But we've got so many coming, and we're so excited. It's the 21st through the 23rd. Convention recognition ends with everybody's performance coming in this week. I hope all of you who are watching this have some sales coming in to help your team, to help you for all the different things that will be recognized with that convention. That all ends this week, the 11 weeks going on. This is week 11. The VIP, we showed uh, Kelly Smith, she's down in Tasmania. We showed her last week, she is a qualifier. But there is a VIP report in your back office. If you go under reports, there you'll see a VIP report. And this is where you can really track your progress towards the trip. What is that contest and trip? Well, remember, there's a new one coming up, but the current contest is if you have 3,500 in PV, personal volume, that's just you over the 11 weeks, you get that necklace. If you have two qualified recruits in that 11-week time frame, you get that amazing bracelet. If in this 11 weeks you have earned either one of those, you get VIP seating at convention. And then we go to level two. And level two is when you have two recruits, two qualified recruits, it all is, qual is qualified recruits, and you plus them. So you plus your personal recruits 
and you add all your sales together in the 11 weeks, that's how the trip works too. When you have 7,500 or more in volume, you are in level two. Lunch with the Levines at an incredible place called Gibson's. Dessert is to die for. The best will sit at the table with Levine's, number one in every category. You get the flower power necklace and earrings. You get a swag bag full of jewelry. And again, you get VIP bling seating, bling zone seating it's called, at convention. Now, level three is the very top level of this incentive. You had needed three recruits, so just one more, not three additional. And you plus them had 15,000 points or more. And then... You also get two things. You come to the VIP party on Thursday night to see the new jewelry. And on Saturday, you have a very special shopping time to come to the gifting suite. And you come up to the gifting suite and pick your gift. Incredible stuff! Plus, remember, they see the free jewelry. On, on Thursday night, they get the VIP access to see the new jewelry. This is also the last week for your franchise and any sales vice president's to achieve the New York City competition. This New York City trip, actually, is for all franchise owners and sales vice presidents. We have a couple now internationally. And when they have make, make their goal, they go to Chicago with the Levines, on the Levines, for an incredible experience. All that ends with sales that come in this week. And good things truly happen to those who work hard, and that at convention is where you see that happen. Hey, right now we're in our training minute this week, and this week we want to talk about it. It's actually going to be a three-part series. So the next three weeks we're going to talk about the same thing. But this comes from a book that I just read called How Successful People Think. And I always wonder, people always say to me, are you always so happy? Well, I really think happy, and I've been doing that for a long time. Um, a real long time, and you know, I just I do my thing, and I wonder why. Why do how do successful people think? Why are there some people who really can think that way? And so, I've really enjoyed this book. And over the next three weeks, I'm going to kind of share what I learned in there. But in all aspects of our life, and that's the thing, work is only a small portion. We have a whole other portion. We have family. We have many of you have a full-time job commitment. Many of you have we parts of clubs, groups, organizations, church, uh, all kinds of things. And so all over our life, good thinkers, people who think right, really help solve problems. I love being around good thinkers. And in John Maxwell, very famous author and speaker, former pastor, um, and in his book, How Successful People Think, he talks about 11 skills that good thinkers exhibit and describes how you can have these skills too. But in preparation for that, in preparation for really looking at that and maybe saying, okay, I want to change how I think a little bit. Maybe I can think a little differently. Um, you have to have, you have to commit to the process by which really positive thinking happens, how your thinking changes. And this was what really hit me because I thought in my own life, I thought personally about this. You need to find good input to start your thinking process. It's hard to be a good thinker if you have bad stuff that's up there. I, I use the Bible. I use some other things, great music in the morning. But before I'm going to really get ready to think and work, I need to find good input. I love spending time with good thinkers, too, that people who think good and think positively. I love to be around because it all starts with thinking a good thought. And when you think a good thought, you have to act on that good thought. Thinking without action is nothing. It's a dream. If you have a good thought about somebody, tell them. Tell them the thought you had. And then allow the emotions you have when you do that to create another good thought. Here's the thing. Goodness begot goodness. And that's with thoughts, too. So when you do that and you take action, feel how that feels. And let it create another good thought. And then repeat the process. Lather, rinse, repeat. Lather, rinse, repeat. Um, so really, that's the preparation. Start with a good thought. Be around good thinking people and then have a good thought. Act upon it. Love how you feel and do it again. It's that easy. Okay, let's talk about the first three. Number one is successful people think big. Donald Trump is someone all around the world that you probably have heard of uh, for one reason or another, but he has a great saying that says, I have to think anyway, so I might as well think big. 
think big think think about doing big things that maybe somebody else or not everybody is doing have you ever held 10 shows in a week if you're thinking about business and related to this that's thinking big man how could you do that you'll figure it out but successful people do think bigger i think about 25 countries in the world that parkland is on i think about that all the time so that's number one successful people do think bigger don't limit your thoughts it can be done number two successful people focus when you get a good thought you really have to or you think big and have that thought successful people really focus they can shut out everything else and focus on the issue and help solve the problem. Now, I understand that for women, this is much more difficult because you have so many, your brain works and that it has so many things firing at once. Guys are easy, we only one box at a time, the focus box. But with everyone, successful people really have the ability to focus and hone on, to remove everything else going on and, and think logically about that current situation with family, with work, with anything. Third thing is successful people think creatively. Now, this is one that you may say, well, I'm creative. I like that. I like to think out of the box and think differently. But if you're not creative, you may say, well, I'm just not creative. And really, in any field, um, you can develop that. You can develop that creativity. You can just ask some questions. And it'll make you think of creative answers. I actually have them I took down when I was reading. These are from John Waxwell. Why must it be done this way? What is the root, root problem? What are, what does this remind me of? What is the opposite of this? What metaphor or symbol explains it? Why is it important? You're asking questions about something. What is the hardest and most expansive way to do it? And then you'll... When you see that, you think of the easiest. So successful people think creatively, think different. They see it with fresh eyes and think differently. You can also ask somebody who's not in that situation kind of their ideas, and that will help get you some creative ideas as well. So think bigger, be able to focus, think creatively. Those are our three for this week. We'll continue next week with more of how successful people think. Successful people, download the network. Here's your July Network Magazine. You go to Field Interface. You go on the left-hand column right here to the Network Magazine, and there it is. Please download that and print that out. Continuing is the Trilogy Ring, the Watch. This is a Yes Gift and Hostess Gift. We have new ones being announced at convention. Triple HRCs continue for the month of July for our hostesses. The 2x4 special, the customer specials, the line and infinity scarves continue. Plus, there's a new one released at convention. Um, the Rich Rewards Club. These are the free jewelry and incentive awards you earn every month. Start at $1,500. At $2,000 or more, you get the Ensemble of the Month. July's Ensemble is confetti. It is a brand new product that we'll see at convention, but no, you will love it, and you want it for free, right? So earn it, 2000 in July. As I mentioned, for convention attendees only, please hear me, you can go to parklanejury.com forward slash pre-order, and there you will see a pre-order form with a number of items on it, but three of them you can get. Catalogs. Now, again, if you're Australian, we won't have Australian catalogs for pickup. You can get some U.S. ones, but that's catalogs for all other markets. Your catalogs we have there. The new Yes Gift and the new Customer Special. You can order these items and go to the bottom and have pickup at convention and can pre-order these supplies. For all other supplies related to what is released at convention, please see your Park Lane franchise because they will be able to answer that for you. And as a branch director, that's the next best place to go. Go to your branch director first, actually, because they can help you. Branch directors, make more money and get more free stuff for doing really the same thing as a fashion director. The only thing is they also have a team. It could be a big team, a little team, but they have that. And when you have a 1,000 or more net non-sales in a month, in a commission month, remember everybody's got four weeks, and you have one qualified recruit, you are promoted to branch director. And 
as the branch director, again, more money and more free stuff doing the same thing. As we told you, contact your franchise for anything related to new products and how to grow the business. They are the bomb. They can take care of anything. And you have Park Lane's customer service standing behind you that you can always reach out to via email or via phone number. Remember, they're in U.S. Central Time. Hey, we leave you with, uh, this is kind of how successful people think. This, is, uh, this comes from a book, a very famous book. It was quoted by a very special person. Last thing he said on earth, and he said, A new command I give you, love one another as I have loved you. So you must love one another. That's it. As we move forward, successful think people think that way too. I love the people I work with and will always offer kindness to them. You can do that too. Not only our family, not only that, but the people we work with in the business. Your smiling face can make a huge difference in their lives. And we offer some great accessories. Thanks, everybody, for watching this week's News at Noon.